Well, John, absolute drama here at Pride Park. What's your initial reaction to that? Um, you know, I'm absolutely thrilled that we've come away with the point, considering the circumstances and, and obviously what went on um, with, the, I think, a bit of bad luck towards the end of the game. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really thrilled with that. I think when, when the dust settles, uh, the overall emotion it will be one of pride, but also the fact that we haven't come away with three points. And um, that's a good thing. It's a good thing that we're frustrated about that, but also we just need to be a bit better in certain moments to, to really put those games to bed. Um, but, uh, you know, my feelings reflect, I think, uh, probably all, every Portsmouth fan's uh, feelings leaving the, leaving the ground. Just, um, you know, very, very happy that we've, we've come here under those circumstances and um, come away with the point. The away end went wild. How did you and your staff react when the goal went in? I think it was the most I've, uh, I've reacted to a, to a goal. Um, it, it, everything happens in slow motion. You know, there's that, um, that split second before I think the away fans know it and we couldn't see the net bulge either. Um, I felt a lot of relief because my, the overwhelming thought at that point was probably anger at the way that the game had uh, transpired, um, particularly the way it was refereed. And I just thought we really, really had deserved to have at least a point at, at that stage. So I'm just really pleased for the players because it would have been really easy for them to drop their heads when the penalty was given and the, you know, the accumulation of, of decisions that had gone against them. Um, but they didn't. Uh, they kept going and, and fully deserved it. Yeah, it was a real blow towards the end with that penalty decision. But what does it say about the lads of being able to pick their heads up and, and go again? I think it says everything about the the belief that the group's got it's a bit of a, a cliche that you can sort of band around a lot of the time and uh, one of the you know funnily enough I, I said to the lads at half time um, you know Jordan's just said there you know you're probably a bit harsh on them in the first half I just uh, the coaching staff got a huge amount of belief in these players we know what they're capable of doing we know what Alex Roberts is capable of doing in the second half when you know he's, he's close to unplayable um, in the first half he struggles a bit to get himself going so we're trying to you know we almost wish I know this is a, a real sort of age-old problem in football we want the players to believe in themselves as much as we do as a staff. That's a reason we brought them to the football club. It's a reason they get selected for, for these sort of games. And you know, we see some brilliant stuff week in, week out in training. Um, and we see some of it on the pitch. I just want a bit bit more of that. And, and I know uh, it's difficult. I, I get it's difficult. I've, I've played in these games. Um, uh, I've played with the demands of, uh, sort of a big club on, on your back. And I, I just think the, the lads are doing superbly well. I just think we've got another 10% to go. And um, you know, we'll, we'll see a real, real improvement in performance. Now, away from the drama, I know it's difficult to detach yourself from the emotion at this stage, but what did you make of the performance as a whole? You must be really pleased. Yeah, so I thought we were a bit sloppy in terms of the way we started the game, but we still controlled the, the, the first half largely. I think we had the, um, the better of the chances with uh, Colby's one where he, where he gets in the box. It's a brilliant block. Probably had about five or six corners in the first half as well, which just goes to show the fact that we were front-footed. And I thought our reaction in the second half, I, I felt from the sidelines that... We were by far the better team. Um, you have to obviously have a look at the game, but I thought we were the more threatening team. Uh, and I couldn't, I can't remember Will having to make a save. The only thing I would caveat that with, apart from the penalty, the only thing I would caveat that with is the fact that um, I also can't remember Wildsmith having to make too many. So we had opportunities and chances at the one where Paddy cuts in and, and he puts it just wide. Um, a couple of goal mouth scrambles where we just didn't quite get there. Um, even sort of Terry's header towards the end. I know it's a, a one 0 down, but that would be the one um, where I think performance. You know, I was, I was, I would have said exactly the same thing. I said to the players, if we'd have come in and lost one 0 I would have said the same thing. The performance was was excellent. Um, we're really getting there. There's just a few things we can improve upon to turn those points into into wins. Yeah, it might not have been that win you'd hoped for, but how nice is it to be able to send the fans home with something? Oh, amazing. I know it changes their weekend, and um, you know, I know it. <laughs> gives us a real boost I think just just traveling back on the bus everybody will be getting back into their cars heading back to Portsmouth I, I think elated um, based on what we saw I, I also think that same as my reaction to the players I think the reaction from the fans uh, if we hadn't nicked the equaliser would have been the same because they saw what the, the performance is all about and and that's ultimately what the you know, all the fans want to see they pay really good money they get up at um, god knows what hour to, to come and um, travel to places like Derby they've got another trip on, on Tuesday which I know I'm sure two, three thousand will make um, because that's what that's what we do as a football club. So, yeah, I'm really pleased for them. You probably see that at the end. Lots of outstanding performances, but were there any standouts for you? I thought Zach, Zach Swanson had a brilliant game to pick him out. Yeah, without watching the game back, Zach was I thought Zach was superb. He was probably our brightest player in the first half. When he moves over to the um, right hand side in the second half, it's harder for us to judge. But you know, we thought that he was really effective. Kept going. Um, the 
a couple to, to highlight. Colby hasn't trained all week and came in, you probably saw that he went down with cramp, which is really unlike Colby. I thought he was immense, despite the fact that he got absolutely mauled all game. So um, that was really pleasing for him to get his goal fully, fully deserved. Uh, and then, you know, without going through the Alex Robertson, superb in the second half, needs to start games a bit better. Uh, and then the one that, um, again, really stands out for me is a league debut for, for Terry Devlin. And he arrived back on Thursday from the uh, Northern Ireland 21s. He made his league debut away at Pride Park. Um, he missed a really, really good chance just before. He didn't put his head down. He got in the box again and got an assist and uh, really, really pleased for him. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough to sort of go through the, the entire... I, I really can't look at any performances and, and think that we didn't um, we didn't play well and they didn't do themselves a lot of justice. But yeah, just a couple that stand out right now. And nice to give Tino some minutes as well. Yeah, to, um, you know, brilliant to, to have Tino back as part of his progression and part of his fitness. Um, hopefully, we'll get sharper. Uh, one thing I thought that was was really good about Tino is it came on. He got up to match pace and he, he didn't look like um, anything was was too much for him in a game that was very very fast and, and there was a lot of action in it and it came a bit end to end uh, towards the the back end of the second half. So. Um, really, really important for us to you know, get more players back in and um, have more availability. We were a little bit thin today, uh, I thought, but that's the importance of the squad. And I know, you know, everyone is. I do listen to um, head coaches and managers. They, they talk about injuries. We, we've got a few, and we've got those two suspensions. We didn't help us. That's the whole point of us having the squad that we've we've built. And thankfully, the squad came and made a difference today. Just in terms of the team, there's a quick one. Christian Sadie, what, what's the latest with him? Yeah, Christian picked up a, a knock in training last week, so I think it was on Friday or, or possibly Saturday, and hasn't trained all week. He obviously travelled up with us. We wanted to assess him yesterday. He was um, about 50% yesterday, or he was operating at 50%, if that makes sense. And um, what we didn't want to do is have him on the bench. I 100% would have brought him on if I'd, I'd had him on the bench, and then him break down. Uh, an important thing for us is to first of all avoid those type of injuries, and and make sure that Christian is fit for as many games as, as possible uh, so that, that was the advice from the, the physiotherapy team and, and they're spot on with, with everything they do so um, yeah no problem with that whatsoever I think you've seen Christian just behind me there doing his running after the game so you know it's nothing uh, too serious and hopefully he'll be back for Tuesday.